So remember, you can also show the distributive property for division using arrays. So having sort of a visual model of what you are trying to work out. So I'm going to show an example of that. Let's say we have 54 divided by 3. I can show this problem visually using an array. I'm going to draw a rectangle. Going down the side of my rectangle, I always have my divisor. So in this case, 3 is my divisor. So I know that with distributive property, I have to split up my dividend. So 54, I know I can split up into 30 and 24 because I know that both of those numbers, not only do they add up to 54, but I know both of them can be divided by 3. This is sort of like working backwards from when we learned the breaking apart using arrays strategy for multiplication. So you're starting with what's inside the boxes. You're starting with your two sum, the sum of what you'll get when you add up for the dividend. So 30 and 24. Now I have to kind of think backwards and say, okay, what times 3 will get me 30 and what times 3 will get me 24? Okay, so in this case, I know 3 times 10 will get me 30 and I know 3 times 8 will get me 24. Just like the other way of using distributive property, I have my two parts of my answer. In this case, they are 10 and 18. So I know when I add up 10 and 18, I'll get my final quotient, my final answer for this problem.